In this segment, we're going to install MongoDB 3.0 on Microsoft Windows. And I'm going to take you through all the steps to do that. Now I've got a Microsoft Windows 8 computer here, and it is running the traditional desktop. And I'll show you how to find and download MongoDB. So go to Google and type download MongoDB, and that will take you to this first link. The first organic link is mongodb.org download. Let's click on that. And then at the top, you can see there's an option to use the MongoDB management service to run MongoDB. We're not going to do that. We're going to actually run it ourselves on our computer. And right now, at the time of this recording, we have the 3.00 release that's available. When you see it, it may be a slightly newer version, maybe 3.01 or 3.02 or beyond. We're going to take the 64-bit release because this is a 64-bit operating system. We recommend a 64-bit release. We definitely do not recommend using a 32-bit release for production because it limits the total addressable size of the data using the default storage engine. I'm going to download the MSI file. Okay, now the MSI file is downloaded, and now I'm going to run it, which is going to install MongoDB on the computer. So we're going to click through Next. We're going to accept the license agreement. Next again. I'm going to take a complete install and install it. It's going to ask me if I'm serious about installing it, and yes, I am. And then it's going to click Finish. Now, where did it put it? Well, I'll show you where it put it. It put it in C Drive, Program Files, MongoDB, right here, Server, 3.0, bin. Okay? So that's where it is. Now, let's see what's in this directory. So in this directory is a bunch of executables, and the ones we care about the most are Mongo and MongoD. Mongo is the shell, and MongoD is the server. Now we want to run this from the command line, but before we do that, let's do a couple things. First of all, let's change our path so that we have access to this directory from the shell. So I'm going to go here to System. I'm going to click on Advanced System Settings. And then I'm going to click on Environment Variables. And then I'm going to go to the Path Variable right down here. Let's scroll down and find a Path Variable. Path, of course, is where Windows looks for executables from the command prompt. And then I'm going to add something to it. So what I want to add is I want to add this directory right here. Oh, perfect. So I'm going to select that. I left clicked on it, and then it actually selected it, which is exactly what I wanted, because that will let me do a copy of it without having to completely retype it. And now, if I go back to my environment variables and go to the end, and then I'm going to hit Paste. And I say OK, and I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to say OK. Now that I've done that, I should be able to, in a new shell, get to these executables. So let me get a new shell. Right click on the Start menu, Command Prompt. And now, if I type MongoD, it should start up. Now there is one other thing we need to do before we do this. We need a slash data slash DB directory, which is where MongoD is going to put the data. So let's do that. MD slash data, MD slash data slash DB. And now let's type MongoD and hit Return. And when we do that, you can see that we're seeing the log from MongoD, and it's still running, so it's still printing out the log. The program hasn't exited, it's just the log is running right to the command prompt. And if you read the log messages, you can see that it tells you that it's listening on port 27017, and that it's putting its data in data slash db, which is the default. Now let's get another shell right here, and now let's run the Mongo shell program. Before we were running MongoD, now we're just going to run Mongo, we're going to hit return, and that's going to make a connection to localhost 27017. And when we did that, we can put something into the database. So I'm going to put db.names. So db, I'm going to test database, names of the collection, dot insert. I'm going to put a document with one key name and with the value being my name. And it says that we wrote one document. And now if we query the collection, we see there's a document with an underscore ID, name Andrew Erlickson. So we've successfully gotten MongoDB installed on our Windows machine. Now, if you control C out of this, then MongoD will no longer be running and you will no longer be able to store data or read data from the database. Now, you can obviously run it as a service if you'd like, and there's some instructions for doing that on the web and our manual. 
But for this course, we often run it from the command line because it's more convenient, and it kind of gives us a better feel for what's going on with the database. All right, so that's how you get MongoDB running on Windows.